so pretty. Look at this. This is the pool. I know. So what's up, YouTube? Right now, I'm here at Carter's. Oh, my daughter wants to get in the picture. Come on, Bam Bam. Come get into the camera. So right now, we are at uh, Carter's swimming lessons. And um, this is his first day. Uh, he's doing really well. I'm actually really proud of him. Um, they actually, when we first called, they told us that he wouldn't have any more openings until next year. That's how busy uh, this, this actual trainer is, the swim coach. Uh, he's been doing it for a very long time. He actually trained my twin sisters uh, about 20 years ago. So yeah, he's been in business for a very long time. He's very patient and uh, with the kids and he does an amazing job. So today's Carter's first day and he's, he's doing really good. I'm proud of him. Um, but right after this, we got to go home and I got to get him ready because he has his first baseball training today. So I took him to the baseball uh, batting cage the other day. He liked it. I actually met a guy that's really great with training and um, coaching up the kids. So we're meeting him today, actually, right after this. So Carter got a busy day today. We try to keep our kids uh, active, man. You know, it's good to really keep your kids active, keep them involved and busy, man. Um, you don't want them to have too much free idle time. Idle time is a devil workshop. So we keep our kids busy, man, and um, I'll keep you guys in tune on how that goes as well. So, uh, yeah, we just wanted to touch bases, let y'all know what's going on today. And y'all stay tuned with the journey uh, of Carter and my children, my beautiful family. Thank y'all for watching, tuning in, and I'll see y'all real, real soon. Are you excited, Carter? Yeah? <laughs> it's your first day of swimming lessons? In this beautiful backyard with Mr. Conrad. So today's Carter's first day for swimming lessons with Mr. Conrad. He's super excited. Savannah's going to be up next. Swimming lessons today. Are you excited? Yeah. Your coat? Well, I think the pool is pretty warm, so. He'll be fine. I don't know. I met you guys before. Is that your girlfriend? What is that? What's her name? Did you check about it? Is that over there? Yeah. Is that over there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you don't know? Oh, you can already? Like show me what you do. Yes. Can I ask you a question? You want to get your face wet? No, like, um, I don't know what I want to know. That's not what I asked you. Yeah, I'm not. I can't suppose. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. <laughs> Look at the water and grab my hands. You can do it. Good. How was that? Good. Didn't bother you? Your eyes are kind of a little bit. <laughs> kind of light, kind of hot. Kind of say a lot. Let's go over here, look on the water again. Good, Carter. Good, yeah, Carter. I'm going to grab my hands again. Right. Right. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys, pay attention. Girls, does it hurt your eyes you're going to water? No. Does it hurt your eyes? Sorry? No? Does it hurt your eyes? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Yeah.
Good job, Carter. <laughs> Carter's turn to jump off the edge. <laughs> this is easy for Carter. Let's see what he got. Carter. Carter. All right, guys, so Carter had his first day of swimming today. How did it go, son? Uh, it went good. So, like, I have to jump um, off this big rock. So then, um, so, like, when I jumped down, I thought that, like, I would, would be able to walk. So, like, I might put my feet straight. But then it there was, was too like, deep. yeah. <laughs> so then I was like, uh-oh. So then I might have to get back up and swim over to the wall. Yeah, so you swam uh, pretty good for your first day of training? Yeah, and um, also, what did the coach say that he wanted to do? Um, he wants me to put me in, in a more advanced class. Yeah, so next class you're going to do a lot more swimming. Uh, he said you did really well, and he's advanced to you already on the first day. Great <laughs> job. Now what are we about to go do? Baseball. You got baseball practice? Yep. All right, your first day of baseball training too, right? So you having a big day today, champ. All right, so tell the people we'll see y'all soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Go ahead, try to get the 20 in your head. All right, so this is Carter practicing staying underwater because yesterday in swim class he um was diving and he panicked when he was underneath the water thinking that he was going to drown and he was only under there for six seconds so today we're outside in the backyard and he's trying to see how long he can actually hold his breath underwater ready what's up even when it's uncomfortable stay under there push past the discomfort that's when your true strength you're, you're shows up. up you're coming up when you're uncomfortable don't come up when you're uncomfortable. Stay a little longer. And when you when you feel like you're gonna quit, tell your own self yeah, you that you got you're it. Because daddy's not gonna be there all the time. So you have to be able so to tap your into own your head. own self and tell yourself that you got it. So okay? Go 15 seconds. Count yourself, okay? And you can't come up and I can't come up. Okay, why not daddy beat you? Because I'm old and I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Uh, so Carter did 13 seconds and Daddy did 19 seconds. All right, guys. Well, Mommy has to go. Okay. So we'll tap in later when okay, I get but back. I'll do it with you. So see. We're gonna count. If Carter can get to 17 seconds. Peace. So look, I'm gonna count. Put your feet together. Bend over and touch your toes. Get your knees to touch your toes. Touch your toes. Put your hands out. Put your hands out in front of you like this. Okay? Head first. Back over there, that was good. Good job, Carter. Good job. Good job. Why don't you want to go 
Good job, Carter. Support your kids, man. Be there with them every step of the way. Whatever it is that they want to do. They need your support. Fathers, mothers. Gotta be there. Second. Second day. day um, in the advanced swim lessons. Um, I'm pretty sure I did everything right. So, like, I'm on this dive. Um, and I kept going head first. So, on the last time I was there, we had to go to, like, the bottom. Um, so, on the last time I was there, um, I didn't get any of the items that were at the bottom of the pool. But this time, um, I got two other items and there were four so how was that for you yesterday let's talk about that because we didn't record yesterday because it was like a lot of emotions going on so why don't you explain to them what happened yesterday so that they can kind of get an idea um, explain, explain i wasn't that good at diving at first so what happened when you went underwater so yesterday um the guy was like pushing me down right so um i thought he was drowning me but he was actually trying to help me so then, um, like, um, when he was, like, down pushing me to the ground, I swam right back up. And, like, you didn't even try to get nothing out, <laughs> out the bottom. Yes, because you were scared. But then I told you, I said, he wasn't trying to drown you. He was trying to help you go down. And then once you watch you and your dad watch the diving video, that kind of helped you understand what he was doing, right? So sometimes things can seem like, like when you have a coach or an instructor or a parent, they seem like they are hurting you, right? Because it's uncomfortable, but then you find out what? They're actually helping me. Exactly. Absolutely. And um, so today before my swimming lessons, um, we were saying how long I could hold my breath. Mm -hmm. And my parents were trying to make me get to 20, and I actually did. Yes, you did. Because yeah. yesterday when you panicked, we wanted you to see that you were only underwater for six seconds. So you yeah, because um, last night, I think, it's so, like me and my dad, so we were watching like diving videos, so then I was like, oh, that's how you do it. Absolutely. So, okay, let's talk about today. So what happened today that helped you and gave you the courage and the just the push and the drive to be able to come back out here? Even though you were scared and you had a rough day yesterday, what helped you? So, like, like um, before we went to swim lessons when we were in the car, um, my mom said um, F word. And <laughs> yes. She said so what? Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, when he was getting out of the car, because I know yesterday he was kind of worried about what people were thinking about him, like if, you know, he was a little embarrassed, if he may not have been, like, good enough or better than the other kids. So I told him, I said, what do you care about these other kids? I said, fuck them, okay? That's what I told him when he was, when he was getting out of the car. I said, fuck those kids and fuck what they think about you. Fuck what everybody thinks about you because we worry so much about what people think about us. So when he was getting out of the car coming here, I said, fuck them. So that's what helped you? 
<laughs> so, what that basically means is, fuck what people think. Exactly. <laughs> don't live your life in fear, and don't uh, step out your comfort zone based on other people' opinions on how they feel about you, because their opinions don't matter. Yep, absolutely. At the end of the day, they don't matter. And that helped Carter today with the other kids and being there and worrying about what they thought about his swimming or what he did and didn't do. Because he said that what helped him was in his fuck brain. Him. He told him, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, um, and today, um, I think because my mom said that, um, I did everything right. Exactly. Yeah, because you didn't and, care what people thought. Yep. And because um, daddy showed me, um, like, on the, um, the diving video. Yeah. And you knew that you could hold your breath. And not seconds. only did we show you the diving video, we actually went and practiced you holding your breath. Yeah. So we did all that. We took the actual steps to help you, right? Yeah, because, like, um, when I was, like, um, diving in the pool, so then, um, like, um, I had to um, swim to my um, instructor. Mm -hmm. So then, um, like, when I was on the water, because um, I was about to go up, um, but then I'm um, in my head, um, I was like, um, I could swim for 20 seconds. Yep. Exactly. So that helped you and stay like, down. Um, I was only um, under there for 10 seconds. Exactly. Right. So you knew you had more 10 time. 10 more seconds to go. Yeah. So then um, when I was diving in the pool to um, get the item, then um, I was like, um, this is easy because I covered my breath for 20 seconds. And this yep. is only going to take me like five seconds. Exactly. Well, Carter, I guess it's safe to say that today was fuck it day. That's just what it was. Yep. That's what helped Carter today, and that's fuck what, what people think. Exactly. Man. And don't be afraid to try things, and don't be afraid of failure, and don't worry what other people think about you. Yes. Fuck what they think. Exactly. For everybody out there who who is worried about other people's opinions, fuck them. And yes, we're cussing in front of our kids. Yeah. Who but, cares? We don't yeah. care about your opinions because that's no, just, we don't care about. If that's what's going to help my son to push him to be too. great <laughs> and to push him to not <laughs> think about. Daddy, we going to lose subscribers. No, we ain't. <laughs> that's fine. All right, y'all. We're we out. We love y'all. Peace. Bye.